I like challenges, and I like seeing how fast the world's best are. Only last week, I tried to run as fast as Ali Brownlee ran to win the Olympic triathlon. I've even tried to run 5k world record pace. No chance, by the way. But the other half, and some might say the better half, of this channel is Mary. And Mary's never tried it. So today, Mary's going to try it. In a video I call, Mary's going to try to run world record pace, and it's going to hurt. Catchy, I think you'll agree. Get out. Take that. Open her up. Press play. Recognised her. This year she's come here as BBC Sports Personality of the Year, and everybody recognised her. She really appreciate this. Paula Radcliffe starting off. <sighs> What's on the laptop? It's Paula Radcliffe running a marathon, the well, world record marathon that I she did. I was going to say in 2003. Yeah. Now, watching that video, do you have any concept of how hard or fast she's running? I mean, I know she's running hard, but I don't know exactly how fast. Do you want a concept of how fast she's running? Yes. Good, because you're about to run Paula Radcliffe world record pace from 2003 on the treadmill for everyone's delight oh. for as long as you can. Oh. Oh. So the pace is 3.13 per kilometre. 3.13? For the marathon. That is crazy. Yeah, it is. And we're going to go out and warm up first because you've not been very well of late, have you? No. But you're up for this. I'm up for it. Okay, I'll well, do my best. we're going to go out and warm up and we're going to talk about how you might be able to achieve it and what that actually equates to in miles or speed or whatever. However you want to slice it, it's fast. It's going to be fun, though, for me watching. <laughs> oh, dear. Wish me luck. In a sec, clerical error, tyres need pumping. Good start, let's go and catch Mary. Found her, hello Mary. Hi. How are you? Great, thanks. It's weird that I'm asking you the question to camera instead of asking you. Yeah, yeah, feeling quite good running wise. Okay, so talking about this pace, we've got to run 3.13 for a kilometre, which um, I think is 18.7 kilometres per hour. Um, oh my what comparisons, do you have any comparisons to that speed that you've run before? Have you been able to run faster than 3.13 at all? Yes, on short intervals where I've been absolutely going all, all, all out. My watch has registered going under three minutes, but literally for like a couple of seconds. So I know I can hit that speed, but whether I can sustain it for a whole kilometre, I can't imagine. It's going to be high turnover, it's going to be high cadence, just getting those legs turning over with the treadmill running under you. I think that's the key to these. Yeah, in my head I'm just going to like shut everything else out and just focus on moving my legs and arms. Yeah. Let's clear something up right now that you may have been thinking. We know that this is no longer world record pace because Bridget Kosky ran a 2.14 in 2019, but Paula held this record for over 16 years, which is ridiculously long in world athletics terms. And she's also a national icon, one of our heroes, and arguably the best distance runner GB has ever produced. She's a legend, so we want to try and run her pace. So just while I'm catching up to Mary, it is worth saying here that I think that Mary always underestimates her ability to run. And I wouldn't be surprised if she managed the entire kilometre running at Paula Radcliffe's pace. She is, she's a very tenacious competitor. She's very, very driven. And I think we all might be surprised at what she can do because she has proven she's got high leg turnover. She used to be a 200 metre runner at school. She was a very good sprinter, so it's in there. Let's see if it can come out on the treadmill. Legs feel like they're loosening up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just trying to keep my heart rate down because I think on the back of being a bit ill, just checking I'm okay. Yeah. Phase one done. Done. Phase two in there. She's ramping 
bumping it up to 18.7, so it will get there soon. It's not there yet. I would say probably there now. Go, man! safe. I think Mary could have continued but the asthma, like you cannot mess around with the asthma. I think it's on the back of being ill. Yeah, Mary you hold it for two minutes. You held Paul of Radcliffe's world record pace for two minutes. Have you any concept of what that would feel like to run for the entire marathon? Unbelievable. It's crazy isn't it? Want to sum that up in one word? Hard. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to carry on, but don't take risks. No risks. Come on, off you get. You have to get off it at some point. I'd like to try it again when I'm a bit fresher and I haven't been ill for. Okay, it's a deal. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? Running. What do you mean? Well, I just want to get back into a rhythm and I want to give it another crack tomorrow. So I'm keeping the body loose moving. Are you saying you're going to have another go at the Paula Radcliffe World Marathon pace? I think so. I just don't want world to let marathon. it go. World I record want marathon to pace. Do, I want to do it for longer than half Try it. Go for a kilometre. I want to try it because I have been ill. Yeah. So I figure if I, I'm not quite there yet, but maybe by tomorrow I'll feel okay. ready. Take two. Well, obviously, when I put my hand over the screen, it's going to come back to take two. You go and enjoy your run. Take two. That's fine. Uh, whoa, something pretty crazy has happened. Turn the lights on. Mary's just come back from the run and gone, let's just do this now. I just, the thought of waiting another 24 hours and the, like, anticipation and apprehension and fear building, I'm like, I'm just going to do it now. Okay. You sure? Bring it. Okay. This is happening. You didn't even give me time to change out my work clothes. That's... And I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do like a kilometre warm up, I'm just gonna get to it as quick as I can. You're a local, I see. Okay, at point two seven. So you gotta get to one point two seven. Crazy speeds, mate. You're I talking. did an extra hundred meters. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I don't understand. It's so hard. It is so hard. Oh, but I've recovered. I'm recovering. That's 600 meters. I thought I was going to fall off the back. Oh really? You're never near the back. You're right up the front. Oh. So you managed 600 meters at Paul Radcliffe. 
world record marathon pace. And that just goes to show that what we say, isn't it? There's levels to this game, and that is phenomenal, isn't it? You can't. At first, I was like, "Oh, is it because I'm quite ill?" No, it's because it's too fast. Yeah, it is so fast. It's it's insanely fast, and that's it's a, there's a reason that the world record stood for. 16 years or however long it was until Bridget Koskai broke it is because it is that crazy. And when you watch her she looks, it doesn't even look that fast but I managed to literally hold on for 600 metres. Yeah, not even a kilometre. she does. Two minutes you held that for, twice. Not many people can do that for two minutes and I'm not just saying that, like that is, it's legitimately fast man. <laughs> you go and chill now, you've done your bit. Kudos we can talk about Paula. yeah kudos to Paula. we can talk about the rest of it uh on the balcony you know what i'm saying well that was a lesson in what it takes to run a world record at that speed wasn't it oh what, my goodness what are your reflections it's been two days since you actually tried it twice yeah um it's unbelievably fast it is so hard to hold that pace i can run at it um and i'm actually on reflection really pleased i managed 600 meters it is unbelievably quick and painful and like I said to you this morning it's like you almost can't imagine it and thinking about Paula Radcliffe she's such a gentle lovely calm person like even the pace doesn't match her personality it is fierce yeah absolutely brutally fierce and, it and it's like hats off to anyone that can run and hold that pace for an entire marathon. Absolutely, absolutely humbling, but it's why the world record stood for 16 years, isn't it? Because yeah. it was that phenomenal, and it's only just been beaten in the last couple of years, yeah. so just goes to show. Interesting experiment. Yeah, and well done. Well done for doing it. Thank you for doing it. I think pe I think people will have enjoyed watching you go through the ringer for once <laughs> instead of me on these speed challenges. Yeah. So if you enjoyed that, I figure you might enjoy these two videos. The first one is when Mary trained like an elite for a week, Philly Bowden, you copied her training and really benefited from it. And the other video is the nine hard truths of being a serious runner. And I think you might enjoy them if you haven't watched them already. So go check those videos out. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye.